Let's try to mimic the same situation in our three uh, MMK system, our MM3 system here. Okay, we start with this. Um, to be fair, we can have, uh, we just start with existing affair. So we will have three customers in the queue as well. Okay, they're all bunched up. They're all waiting. It's true. They're all waiting. And momentarily, just at this snapshot, S2 is done. Okay, so S2 is done. Then what happens? Well, this time round, it's not that nothing can happen. In fact, many things happen. The next customer will come up and get served, right? Thus clearing one customer. Isn't it? So the S2, all the servers are busy and customers look at each other. Yes, it's moving. And so they feel, even though it's not their turn, at least motivated to wait some more, feeling that the whole situation is quite well organized, having a positive impression of the buying experience and so on. So uh, this keeps going. Now momentarily S1 finishes, uh, S1 will serve the next available customer and so on. So that is a win-win for everyone. Not only the queue system uh, is efficiently designed, is happy we're paying the salary and the service, uh, customer's experience also very good. Okay, now in addition, right? So already this is clear why MMK, all the servers are able to mutually help each other to clear out the shared pool of burden. Whereas in the K times MM1 case, the randomly allocated, right? Because depending on the customer, the randomly allocated queue uh, is stuck with that configuration. If you have a lot of queue uh, customers, somehow they also have very long service times. You are it, right? So cashier officers look at each other and then can't help. Uh, but not the case for K times MM1. Uh, sorry, MMK system. Uh, they can help each other. Now, an additional benefit is this. Just now, I used S2, S2 idling as an example. But the same problem, because idling is no good, right? The same problem is to be multiplied K times because it could happen to S1, and so S2, S3 cannot help. It could happen to S3, and S1, S2 cannot help. The same benefit that I mentioned, right? So S2 is momentarily done. Uh, what next? Oh, it can help by serving the next next customer. That situation, the helping situation, can be multiplied k times because what happens when S1 is momentarily done? Well, next customer please, and S3, next customer please. So the helpfulness of the system, of the servers, is multiplied k times. And the problem or the issue in the k times MM1 case is multiplied k times. That, that kind of like magnifies the goodness and, and magnifies the badness, right, of each of the systems. And so it seems already hands down that MMK system wins all the time. Okay, so hopefully that goes into your, your, your training and the next time you have to make a decision about where to queue, queue at the right spot. Okay, so all this discussion is to say that when we are not trying to be stingy, we are willing to pay and run K servers, how should we be doing it? And now that we have done this discussion, hopefully there is no need for you to discuss the next time or waiver the next time or uh, not be sure the next time, you have to choose between the two, right? Always choose MMK. And to drive home that message, we have an example, a worked example here to use the numbers to, to try to bring home the point. So here, as a design of the queue system, we have a new shop, a new shop. So we need to think and plan. So there are five workstations. We are planning to have five servers. It can change tires and all that in 15 minutes. So four cars per minute. No problem with that. Um, customers come in at a rate of 12 every hour. So that's our Lambda and the shop wonders which one is better, MM5 or 5 times MM1, right? So anytime you have a better, you need some sort of objective function, some sort of a discussion uh, reference point to say what is preferred, what is considered better. So this is where the bullet point here tells us, owner wants to save space. 
Why? Because the business decision is that the bigger the space, the higher the rental. And even if you are buying your own shop, you you have to pay more and pay higher interest, right? To to buy a bigger space. If it can be done with the same number of servers, but smaller space, how can we do it? And is it possible in the first place? So which way should should the owner uh, configure the queue system? So let's calculate for each case. For MM5, it's clear. One stream of cars coming in at 12 per hour, right? They queue up and just before the service station, they will stop there and the next available service station, the next car will just be moved towards that, right? So that's 12 per hour. Each service station clears four cars per hour. There are five of them. So plugging those into the P0 and then the LQ, WQ and the number crunching part, I'll leave it to you. Use Excel or whatnot. So we can easily get these numbers. The more important number is our LQ. All right. Yeah. So the, the five workstations, we have to buy the equipment, yes, but the size is the same. And so that amount of space that is neither in the rental or purchase, doesn't matter, is fixed. We cannot be uh, having those equipment and not have the rental of the space. So that much of the space we are willing to commit and rent. The question is about LQ, right? The number of cars on average. So in this case of MM5, uh, we can serve a stream of 12 cars coming in per hour, which is a pretty busy rate. And yet, we will see roughly less than half a car on average, right? And if we have one parking lot, that's like perhaps quite, quite sufficient, statistically at least, right? Quite sufficient. If we have two parking lots, that's like way, way more than enough, very luxurious. Should be enough. Because our theoretical LQ is very low, right? Now, for the case of 5 times MM1, we imagine um, the cars coming in still at a rate of 12 per hour. But when they branch off, when they branch off to the individual queues, the 5 queues, right? Randomly, let's say, uniformly and randomly, then the effective uh, arrival rate that each queue system sees is going to be 12 per hour divided by 5. Okay, or randomly, unless they tend to, because of right hand driving, you tend to swing to the right, then there's another, you know, case for simulation. But right now, let's say they are divided evenly, so 2.4 per hour for each queue system. And we have one server per single server queue system. Each server is still able to run at four cars, four cars per hour, right? So we plug that in and we... Uh, plug that into last last uh, session's formula list with one server. And that immediately gives us LQ equals to 0.9 cars. Already, it is higher than the MM5 system. But that's not the end because this is about one, one server and one Q system. When we actually have five of them, right? So this 0.9 has to be multiplied five times more to get a net uh, effective space of 4.5 cars. So we need to rent about five car park lots space so as to, uh, to uh, make this five times MM1 system work. And that's a lot. That's like five times more than the one car park lot that we plan to get for MM5, right? So that's a lot. If we look at L, then this is 3.35, this is 7.5 cars. So very, drastically different in terms of the amount of uh, workshop space to rent or buy. Now, in very expensive cities, Singapore, maybe Tokyo, New York, uh, London, if you try to run a garage, a workshop, a car workshop uh, in those areas, this is going to be quite a decision that may make or break the business. Because if you spend so much money renting empty spaces for cars to park, in a very uh, unappreciated ways because car owners will be just queuing up, right? And and the frustration is always there. You're going to like not run your business for very long. Yeah. So at this point in the design, 
if we already run these numbers, we have a glimpse into the future in terms of the statistical behavior. Uh, of course, there are times when maybe two cars or even three cars occasionally uh, might get queued up. Then what is going to happen? We may ask that one or at the most maybe two uh, car owners, can you park in the street for now? Can you come back later? Can you come tomorrow? Something like that, right? We can space them out. But if you are expecting on average about five cars to be parked, then it's more difficult. And when you have excess, uh, it's probably five times, right? So you're going to have big logistical problems just to line the cars up. So all in considered, definitely, right, for sure, we'll ask, advise the owner to go on the MM5 system. So the benefits are very, very uh, uh, self-amplifying. So because of benefit one, it leads to benefit two and all that. Whereas for the K times MM1, the disbenefits are also self-magnifying. So uh, try to work with the good side and not the dark side, right? Something like that. Okay, good. So that ends our discussion and illustration of comparing the configurations of K servers in either MMK or K times MM1. And the takeaway message is always go with MMK systems.